Cemetery woes are brewing on Oahu's windward side. Good evening, I'm Yenji Denise. Paula has the night off. Residents who oppose the expansion of Hawaiian Memorial Park are preparing for battle. KITV Force Catherine Cruz joining us with tonight's top story. Catherine. Well, Yenji, the company says it just wants a chance to use its land. Hawaiian Memorial Park has 156 acres in conservation land, and it wants to use about a third of it. The cemetery is a smooth, velvety stretch of green along Kamehameha Highway that's in sharp contrast to the Ko'olaus. There are some 80 acres in active cemetery use here, but Hawaiian Memorial Park says it has sold 90% of its plots and would like to make more available. When Hawaiian Memorial Park bought all this land in 1992, cemeteries were permitted use under the Conservation District, but two years later, that changed. The Land Use Commission struck down the park's request to expand when it pursued its own change five years ago. The company said it has some 800 letters in support from families, some who want the opportunity to be close to loved ones already buried there. But Grant Yoshimori has started an online petition opposing the cemetery expansion. Yoshimori already works near a cemetery in town, but he doesn't want to live right next to one. He points to flooding and rockfall hazards that were flagged in the last go around. We're concerned about doing that grading that a lot of the land will be exposed, a lot of dirt will be exposed, and there may be runoff into um, Kanahe Bay. Um, in addition to that, when they do the development, it's going to change it from an existing forest to more of a cemetery, and there's more runoff when water, water will just run off of the cemetery. The city's Department of Planning and Permitting is reviewing the Ko'olau Poco Sustainable Plan. Hawaiian Memorial Park's Jay Morford says the company has asked for changes that clarify that cemeteries contribute to open space. The city concurs that the language is consistent with the plan. If they get the city to change the plan, then we're thinking they're going to go back to the state and request a rezoning again or ask for a special use permit to allow cemeteries on that property. Yoshimori thinks conservation land shouldn't be disturbed, which would also protect ancient Hawaiian cultural and archaeological sites in the area. The issue is now before both the Kaneohe and Kailua neighborhood boards who have yet to take a position. Now, the uh, Save Kaneohe group will take their battle to Pohainani tonight. It's a retirement community that is adjacent to the planned cemetery expansion. Cemetery officials talked to Pohainani residents last week. Now, both sides reaching out for support across the community.